Past words have a surprising way of sticking to our memories like glue. Over the years, famous people have said some truly haunting and sad things on their deathbeds. Some are simple words, and others long paragraphs, but their poignancy might resonate, making you curl up into a ball and cry. Still, sometimes we need to hear their words to get that little ounce of inspiration or revelation to live life to the fullest. Are you curious what people have said? I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 famous last words that might make you cry. Twenty-five, Paul Walker. Right before he drove off in his Porsche and got into his fatal car accident, Paul Walker told Jim Torp, "We'll be back in five minutes." Twenty-four, Eugene O'Neill. Famous playwright Eugene O'Neill was born at the Broadway Hotel in what is now Times Square. On his deathbed, he lay at a Boston hotel. His last words were, "I knew it. I knew it. Born in a hotel room, and goddamn it, dying in a hotel room." 23. Charles Gusman. Working as a writer for radio and television for years, spinning stories for popular soap operas, Charles Gusman said before he died, and now for a final word from our sponsor. 22. Groucho Marx. Famous comedian Groucho Marx died in 1977. Hospitalized in Los Angeles, his last words recorded were, This is no way to live. 21. Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill bravely led England and the Allies through World War II, but kept active after it. Reaching the age of 90 in 1965, he said on his deathbed, I'm bored with it all. 20. Frank Sinatra American singer, actor, and entertainer Frank Sinatra was a force to be reckoned with in the 1950s. In 1998, he suffered a horrible heart attack that left him critical until he died. With his wife by his side, he said, I'm losing it. 19. Joan Crawford Huge Hollywood actress Joan Crawford was diagnosed with cancer in her 70s. In her last days, two nurses came by her side and started praying. She said before she died, Don't you dare ask God to help me. 18. Emily Dickinson Perhaps one of the most well-known poets of all time, Emily Dickinson was delicate in her last days. Before she died, she was confined to her bed and left a note. It read, I must go in. The fog is rising. 17. Truman Capote Truman Capote was a journalist and novelist famous for his true crime novel, In Cold Blood. He died in the L.A. home of Joanne Carson. On his deathbed, he said, It's me. It's Buddy. I'm cold. Buddy was his childhood nickname. 16. Jane Austen Jane Austen is a novelist who needs no introduction. Famed for her many novels, she always seemed to have a way with words. Sadly, on her deathbed, all she could say was, I want nothing but death. 15. Hunter S. Thompson In his suicide note, Hunter S. Thompson wrote, Relax, this won't hurt. The prolific and acclaimed writer shot himself in the head. 14. John Adams the second president of the United States, John Adams is infamously known to have had an on and off relationship with Thomas Jefferson. On his deathbed, Adams said, Thomas Jefferson still survives. Little did he know, Jefferson had died hours earlier. 13. Thomas Edison The famous inventor Thomas Edison lay in a coma before his death. When he awoke briefly, he said, It is very beautiful over there. 12. Ludwig von Beethoven Ludwig von Beethoven is one of the most legendary composers of all time. He called his fifth symphony, Fate Knocking at the Door. On his deathbed, his final words were, Friends, applaud. The comedy is over. 11. Steve Irwin With his charismatic personality and enthusiasm for wildlife, he educated us about some of the world's most dangerous creatures. Sadly, Steve Irwin passed away when he was struck in the chest by a stingray. According to his cameraman, his last words were, I'm dying. 10. Steve Jobs Throughout his career, Steve Jobs revolutionized the technology industry. He built Apple into a technology powerhouse, but tragically had suffered from pancreatic cancer for 10 years. On his deathbed, his last words were, Oh wow, 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Nine. Isaac Newton. Famous scientist and mathematician Isaac Newton pushed the sciences forward great leaps and bounds. And he was not a man of few words. He said before he died, I don't know what I may seem to the world, but as to myself, I seem to have been only like a boy playing on the seashore and diverting myself now and then in finding a smoother pebble or a prettier shell than the ordinary, whilst the great ocean of truth lay all undiscovered before me. 8. Michael Landon Many knew Michael Landon as the actor from Little House on the Prairie and Bonanza. He shocked fans when he announced he had terminal pancreatic cancer. Before he died, he said, You're right. It's time. I love you all. 7. Whitney Houston In her last days, famous singer and actress Whitney Houston spoke to her friends and family about Jesus. The night before she died, she told her friend, I'm going to go see Jesus. I want to see Jesus. 6. Leonard Nimoy Actor and director Leonard Nimoy entertained and enlightened us for years on Star Trek. With a final tweet, he did it again. He wrote, A life is like a garden. Perfect moments can be had, but not preserved, except in memory. LLAP. LLAP, of course, stands for Live Long and Prosper. 5. Michael Jackson The king of pop, Michael Jackson, was tragically addicted to propofol, and his doctor, Conrad Murray, continued to give it to him even when he shouldn't have. The addiction led to Jackson's eventual death, and in his last words, he said, milk. Milk was his term for propofol. 4. Benjamin Franklin Benjamin Franklin accomplished quite a lot in his life. He was one of America's founding fathers, an inventor, and author. Before he died, he said, A dying man can do nothing easy. 3. Ernest Hemingway One of the most famous American authors in history, Ernest Hemingway traveled the world and found great success and failure in his publishing career. Right before he shot himself, he said to his wife, Good night, my kitten. 2. Amy Winehouse Amy Winehouse's music career skyrocketed, but along with the success came drugs and alcohol addiction. She saw her doctor the night before her death, and Winehouse stated, I don't want to die. She died of alcohol toxicity. 1. Heath Ledger Actor Heath Ledger wowed us in his performance as the Joker in the movie The Dark Knight, but behind the scenes he suffered from insomnia, complaining about not being able to go to sleep. He mixed prescription medicine with sleeping pills. Before he died, he said to his sister, Katie, Katie, look, it'll be fine, you know, I just need to get some sleep. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com. 